Yeah, hello morning, this is Big Fox from Rep That. Welcome to the Rep That Show. On today's show, we got Raquel Jones, talented singer. She's been on air spray as well. Big things when you hear the vocal, it's a madness. Also got the Rep That Talk Show, we got Snakey Man on there, Jermaine Facey, MMA Fighter, we got Fab's Network, we got I Am Io, we got Bobby, and we got Sam Soprong, he's a music manager, they're all talking about issues in the black community. Um, racism can be, it doesn't have to be a thing whereby you don't like someone because of their race, you might discriminate against Kid, you wouldn't really call him half past no more. Yeah, yeah so, like, before 
Sorry about that. Eight years ago, I stopped saying hard words. Because mm. I didn't think about it. Yeah. I didn't think about it. Mm. And then one of my friends, I was in the boot shop, was chatting. And then my mum said something about um, half bars. It was no mixed race. But I didn't think, yeah. no, half bars, man. No, I'm mixed race. No, half bars, man. And he's like, oh, no, mixed race. I went to the one where I sat down. Yeah. And I remember what we were talking about. Half. Cars. Is being cast away. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh. I never ever said that again. Mm-hmm. Around him, well, I haven't really said it, you know, because I thought, you know what, that's cutting him out of order. I didn't really, it's just us saying nigger. Yeah. When I was growing up and all that school, mm-hmm. some of my white friends um, used to say, yeah, nigger, nigger. And I, they, they, they never understood, like, yeah. I was to slap him down. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know but, you know, we just saw oh, nigger, yeah, whatever, whatever. But as I got older, I thought, no, no, you can't say that around me. Yeah. Don't call me nigger. Yeah. Don't yeah. say, yeah, I'm nigger, you know, I'm dead. But you know what, man, you may, it's in rubber, uh, yeah, cool, but all this neck, neck, all this kind of around this, you know, this is real, you know, just narrowing now on yeah. our um, way of speaking. Yeah. I think it encompasses people with a certain bracket, yeah. you know what I mean, sometimes, you know. I'm going to some of the things that was. I wasn't hurting them, you know. They're going to be loving them and giving them hugs. Mm-hmm. Now, on this musical level that I do, when I go out, I got to watch my back. And, I, and why is that? When, when, I, when the film Adulthood, Adulthood dropped out, um, I was getting so much love from, 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 from everyone else that wasn't black. Mm-hmm. You know, you got the odd few black people saying, no, bro, respect when you did a film about the ends, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I was getting... I could go to any, 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 any area in London and, and, and I would be scared to move past a group of black youths because I know they're even going to recognise me. I'm even going to get two. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to get two outcomes here. Yeah? Either oh, respect, cool, enough love, keep doing your thing, or they're going to try and move to me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and it goes back to me saying it's jealousy. Like, why can't we congratulate one another? Because mm. I'm a guy, I've been brought up congratulating. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because his success is going to help my success. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You see it with the music people. Tinty Striders and all that, their su- and Tiny Tempers, their success is opening doors for other people. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure they're getting hate. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, why yeah, is yeah. that? Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good... Both guys just comfortable keeping it upright, trading with a dirty boxing. Plum clinch again for Jimmy. Mano as he looks to set those knees in. Petrescu happy to box inside, dirty boxing with the uppercuts. But they are huge knees. Now, Petrescu is going to have to, he's going to have to break for the clinch. I'd want him to stay on the outside because Mano has already proven that he's getting the better of it. Wow, and he just got rocked. Straight hands, straight back to the clinch by Mano, and he's just killing those knees right now. Big left uppercut from Mano, and the left hook landed. It cut Petrescu, he's out. Jimmy Mano, champion, reigning champion. No. And how do you feel about it? Are you pleased with your I'm pissed because I've got a prize on my eye. No, he's flawless. Dad, yeah. you saw that fight earlier. No, really, it's a, it's a great fight. It's a great fight. Very, I've trained really hard for this fight. Is it? And, uh, you do know what you are. Yeah, he's, he's like, and I think he's about number one or two in Britain. Yeah. Apart from me, because he's knocked out the number one in Britain. And, um, Let's move you up, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, I'm 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 yeah. I'm 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 to you for the brandy, right? No, no, no. So, how many months have you changed? Well, after my last fight, I made a uh, no. I didn't stop training. I like, took a couple of days off here and there. I'm just in my longest training camp. Can I just say, these two have just fought some yeah. really Look at their faces. Can we do some close-ups? Not other. You know, you don't go into fights and, you know, like Jimmy, I watch his style, he's kind of not similar to me, but it's all about why would you want to go toe-to-toe? You don't fight toe-to-toe. You fight to get to victory. You fight to, to um, overwhelm your opponent. And that's how Jimmy fights and that's the way he wants to do it. You know, if you're in a bad position, you just wrap the guy up. Jimmy, Jimmy, Dunning. Now again, we've talked about the mental it's kill or be killed. Lions eat murders. I don't know what it is, but when I get in, it's like I can't, can't. That's what I think. I just think it's 
any way to win. <laughs> First time live, absolutely smashed it. Honoured, like star in the making. Um, what do you think of the performance? It was a nice vibe. It was nice to be back at the South Bank Centre again. I had a residency here for a while, so it was nice to come back. And yeah, the crowd was was nice, and um, it was a good vibe. All right, then. Well, thanks for your time. Always gonna be supporting. Always been supporting our site since we started as well. That's why I can come down with my kids because I know it's a family thing anyway. So blessings and yeah, you rep that, yeah? Rep that every day. Alright, bless. Take care. Yes,